Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I want to talk about a profound and transformative concept. The idea of connecting with Allah to achieve everything we desire in life. In a world full of challenges and distractions, it is this connection that can guide us, fulfill our needs and lead us to a true contentment. To begin, let's explore what it means to connect with Allah. This connection is built through acts of worship, such as salah, dua, and reflecting on his attributes. So why is this connection so important? Because it is through our relationship with Allah that we find purpose, guidance, and peace. Our faith acts as a foundation, allowing us to trust in his wisdom and mercy. One of the most fundamental ways to connect with Allah is through Salah. The five daily prayers serve as a direct line of communication with our Creator, grounding us amidst life's chaos. Each prayer is an opportunity to reconnect, refocus and renew our commitment. But prayer is not just about the physical act. It is also about the heart. This brings us to Dua. The the a personal touch in our relationship with Allah. Dua is where we express our hopes, dreams and needs. It is a moment of vulnerability where we ask for guidance, strength and clarity. Let me share you, with you a very powerful story. There was a man who, despite facing immense hardship, turned to Allah in prayer and supplication. He poured his heart out, seeking not just material wealth, but peace and purpose. Over time, he found doors opening for him in ways he had never imagined, illustrating how sincere prayer can lead to unexpected blessings. We need to trust Allah's plan. A critical aspect of a connection with Allah is trust. Trusting in his plan for us. Surrendering to Allah's will can be challenging, especially when things don't go our way. However, we must remember that Allah knows what is best for us. This, um, this concept brings us back to the idea of bakara, or blessings. Baraka, sorry. Or blessing. When we connect with Allah, we invite Baraka into our lives. These blessings may not always align with our immediate desires, but ultimately lead to a deeper sense of fulfillment. We need to seek knowledge and self-improvement. Our connection with Allah is strengthened through the pursuit of knowledge. Islam places great emphasis on seeking understanding by learning about our faith and the world around us. We engage in a form of worship that enhances our relationship with our creator. Self-improvement is equally important, striving to become better individuals, whether through acts of kindness, honesty or compassion, helps us draw nearer to Allah. It's a continuous journey of growth and reflection. In Islam, we are not alone in our journey. The concept of ummah or community plays a significant role in our co connection with Allah. Engaging with our community and serving others deepens our bond with our creator. Acts of kindness and charity not only benefit those in need but also elevate our own spirits. For example, consider the joy and fulfillment that comes from helping someone in distress. Each act of service strengthens our ties with Allah and reminds us of the importance of empathy and compassion. So let's recap what we have discussed today. Connecting with Allah through prayer, trust and pursuit of knowledge and community service is essential for leading a fulfilling life. When we, uh, when we nurture this connection, we open the doors to it, endless possibilities and find true abundance in our hearts and lives. Let us all strive to deepen our relationship with Allah, seeking his guidance and blessings in all that we do. May Allah grant us the strength to maintain this connection and lead us on the straight path of righteousness. Amen. Thank you for you thank you for your attention. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.